Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we started chapter 6 of the game and because it's chapter 6, we have quite a lot going on. Uh, Kibo is destroying the school, well he was, and then we have to stop him. Luckily he's like, okay you guys have until dawn to do what you gotta do and investigate in order to solve the mysteries and all of that. Um, but in the meantime, Kibo is fighting the ex <laughs> so that looks really interesting. Um, but yeah, we have a limited amount of time until dawn to investigate. So we found Kokichi's lab, and it was interesting. Um, I have a few theories going on already in my mind. And now we are in Kokichi's room, and I'm very intrigued to see what he's been up to, because I saw Rantaro, and I'm like, bruh, did you have a crush on Rantaro like I do? <laughs> bruh, you got good taste. First you like Shuichi, now you like Rantaro? Hmm, I see. I see. <laughs> so this is Kokichi's room. It's very messy. I don't know where he got all this stuff. But he hoarded a lot of things. It's unsettling, but we should investigate it. You're right. Right. I would have laughed so hard if there was stuff about Shuichi. Like, Shuichi with a heart around it. <laughs> like, my one true love, Shuichi. <laughs> By investigating this room, we might learn more about Kukichi. Kukichi said that he was the leader of an organization opposed to the Gopher Project. In that effort, he tried to take the position of the mastermind. The flashback light helped us remember that the organization was the remnants of despair. Kokichi was the leader of the remnants of despair. I'm not sure about that, but okay. But is that the real truth? I feel as though there may be a lie in there. Okay, I see a few interesting things already, dude. Uh, is there a Monokuma figure here? So far, I'm surprised there isn't. Hmm. Oh well, okay, we got... Oh, does he have, like, a little bit of evidence from each case? Maybe that's why. He has Rentaro, and I see the tire. And I see the, the Cubs pad. Okay. Collected evidence, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. He's been investigating on his own. Hmm. Oh, this is the hidden camera I set up in the library. And this is the inner tube that was floating in the pool. Oh, and this is the book from the caged child seance. Oh, he's gathering all the evidence from the past incidents. The murder weapons aren't here. Why on earth is he gathering all this? <sighs> no, it's pointless to try and understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. I don't know, though. Dude, like... There's just so much stuff. Okay. Look at evidence. Do I have to look at all of this? No. It's just, uh, the same stuff. What was he planning to do with these? Okay. Cubs pad? Is it his? Hmm. It's a monocubs pad. They were given to all of us as motives during Kurumi's case. The motive videos were switched up, and we each got someone else's video. That's true. I don't believe this motive, motive video is Kokichi's. Then, then there's no point in looking, is there? I'm very curious what his has, though. No. No, we should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his actions. Hmm. When I touched my finger to the pad. The video started playing. What's with that horse's head on his bed? Oh my god. <laughs> and there's a crown on it? What the frick? Whose is it? All right! Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! He had his own, just like Karumi did. Oh, snap, yo! Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... Interesting. What? Kokichi's... Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. Wow, these are his people, huh? 
<laughs> they all seem very uh, clownish, like him. Interesting. I kind of want to see like a spin-off of just them. That would be really cool. <laughs> Even though I don't like Okichi, I think I would like him better there, like in his own storyline, you know, when he's not interfering with my people over here. He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. Okay. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. These goons were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. Oh. But then, a terrible event befell those precious people. Hmm. What kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself! <laughs> really? I don't know. Kokichi probably's like, I don't believe this, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Although his people could have just died because of the whole meteorite thing. Although it shows them behind bars. No. So this was Kokichi's motive video. Why? Why did he have his own motive video? Did he exchange it with someone else? No. Maybe he was given his own motive video from the start. Like Kurumi. I see. Oh, so Kurumi wasn't the only one who got their own motive video. Well, either way, it doesn't matter anymore. That is true. But the content of that motive video is disconcerting. It's inconsistent with the information we already know about Kokichi. But what can I deduce from that? That it's all a lie. Yeah? Okay. I never thought that a motive video would be a concern now. Kukichi gathering all those pieces of evidence was coincidence. Right? Uh, maybe. Or maybe he's leaving little clues for you, huh? Okay. There are several cardboard boxes filled with documents. Hmm, these look like blueprints. Huh? Blueprints? This is stupid. They're mostly drawings of childish fantasy weapons, like ray guns and beam swords. I mean, that explains, like, when we first got introduced to all the characters, Kokichi was all gaga over Kibo. He's like, ooh, robot, ooh. He's like a big man-child, you know? Just a little man-child. <laughs> so... For him, seeing a robot was actually like really cool, and he was really sad that Kibo never went off full robot, and now here he is, after Kokichi's dead, going full robot. Like, man, Kokichi would be so salty right now. <laughs> He'd be like, I want to see that! Oh, man! <laughs> well, I wonder if the Electro Hammer and Electro Ball blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever came to mind, and then selected a few for Miu to create. I don't understand. Looking at everything, a lot of these childish designs seem impossible to create. That's... that might have been Kokichi's intention. Huh? His intention? Remember, he could have prepared a few fake blueprints to mask the real ones. It's nearly impossible to check all of them, lowering the chance someone would find it. Hmm. You mean, there might be something important hidden among this stuff? You're right. I believe that is a possibility, but we don't have time to look. Then... then I'll do it. Huh? Huh? Maki took a seat in front of one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints. Uh, um... Maki? Well, this is so that we can go bond with Himiko and Sumugi too, right? Thank you. Aww. Okay. She's such a good waifu. <laughs> and she's a perfect uh, assistant for him, too. Like, I see them working really well together, solving mysteries in the future. No problem. Alright. So then, I see this board here, and I'm mad we can't look at it. Like, I want to know what that says underneath Shuichi's name. I want to know so bad. But clearly, uh, it has, you know, the people who died and the murderers on the left. And then it has the people who were still alive in the middle. He wrote something next to Maki's name. 
he wrote something above the monocubs. I wish I could read that. Like, see how he has Shuichi separate? Like, what the frick? Does it say protagonists? <laughs> I'm so curious. Uh, anything else, Maki? Hey, hey, I wanted to ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it, Maki? Well, Haito believed Kokichi. He believed that someone's watching this killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I'm... Kokichi does have a compelling... Co a compelling point. This killing game only makes sense if there's an audience. Why else would there be all these rules designed to make it more interesting? Because... It's just like Junko and Oshima's killing game from the past. Hmm, Monokuma is particularly strict about upholding the rules, enlivening up the killing game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all that's left of humanity, aren't we? I don't understand. Even if he did say it was to show someone, no one else is alive anywhere else, right? I wonder if someone really did infiltrate this place. Uh, okay. That is a mystery. But all mysteries conceal some truth. There's still a truth to find in this killing game. Whether that truth is hope or despair is another matter entirely. We're not going to talk about the fact that uh, Rentaro's there? <laughs> I guess not. What the frick? That covers just about everything in Kokichi's room. Hey, if you're done, you can leave. I'm going to check the blueprints. But... But... Because... We rely on you the most, especially in this situation. After all, you're Taito's sidekick. Aww. Maki. Well, but before you go, I found something strange that I want you to look at. Huh? Something strange. Uh, this um. isn't a will? <gasps> Ooh. What is this? Is this a real will? Dude, read what it says. <laughs> is this? I think it's a real will, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. He was a liar, after all. But if it is real, why did he leave it? Could it be... He left us this information in case his plan failed. Now, what I'm curious is that I would like to compare the handwriting on that with the writing that's in the courtyard. I'm still not convinced that he was the one who wrote This World is Mine and all that. I mean, he could've, but I'm not sure. Huh? He did. I don't think he would do something like that. Well, well, we should look inside, and we'll know more. When I open the envelope, small pieces of paper fall out. Huh? The second message is on the wall next to the boiler in the rear garden. Oh no, I don't have time to go running around. Dang it, Kokichi. Huh, a second message. The wall next to the boiler? That's all. It's probably another one of his horrible pranks. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. But I should investigate just in case. It might be an important clue. Okay, okay. Do what you want. Just don't waste any time. It'll be dawn before you know it. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I should head to the boiler in the garden. Bye, Red Taro, baby. I just can't believe. Like, what the heck, Okichi? <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. Let's go. Can't believe it's here by the garden. Oh, that's so cool. Cool but scary. <laughs> it's like, don't want to get caught in that. Oh, you can't even go to the shortcut no more. Wait, was this always here? This path here? What the heck? What is that? Huh. That's interesting. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Alright. Next to the boiler. Wall, next to the boiler. What could it be? Perhaps it's just a prank. Uh, 
Oh, I see it. No Monica, uh, Monokuma figure though. Where are they at? I'm probably not gonna get them all. I don't really care that much. Uh, right here. How did he even get up there? <laughs> He's so short. Around here, this area used to be covered in grass. Oh yeah, that's true. But it's been completely removed. Shouldn't be hard to find it now. Ugh. I let out a gasp when I saw it. <gasps> Pennywise? No, just kidding. <laughs> what? Huh? Twins B. Is this gonna be like another horse A kind of thing? Horse A and Twins B. Hmm. I don't think it actually means Twins B. Is this the second message? Twins B. What could this possibly mean? If it was written by Kokichi like the other message, are they meant to be read together? Horse A, Twins B. Um. This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. It was written in like a weird angle and stuff. Ah. Then, in that case, it seems as though the message is incomplete. This world is mine, and Twins B. Ah, I wish I could put it together. Mentally, I can't. I can't imagine how to fit it together right now. I need, I would need to see it written the way it's supposed to be written. But if this is incomplete, what was Kokichi trying to do by telling us? Oh no. Uh, uh, again. Oh shoot. Here we go. There's the butt punch. Alright. What is it this time? Oh, is that supposed to be Nayagi? That kinda looks like his hair! Oh snap, yo! I kinda wanna see adult Nayagi, that would be so cool. Shuichi Saihara, do you have your ultimate memory back? Yes. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I want to ask you to please cooperate with the Gopher Project. I. I do feel bad about this. I know how much you all wanted to run, even if it meant no longer being ultimates. Those of you who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. Yeah, Nayagi, why would you do this? You know, it doesn't seem like him, you know? Like, why would he do that? Why would he put people in the same position that kind of like he was in? But the only people who can go through with this project are you 16 who haven't been infected. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. The fate of humanity? Go make babies. <laughs> What's the point? Huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive, what's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? I don't understand. Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. Huh? It's true that the situation you're all being forced into is harsh. So harsh that you think it'd be better to just die. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live but can't, you 16 who can live are hope itself. So please, I don't want to see you give up hope. Uh, okay, yeah. I guess the fact that uh, if anybody who can live because they're immune, it's like of course a good person like Nayagi would want them to live on for the rest of their sakes, you know? Still, it's such a shame that everything got ruined. If this is real. I still I have my doubts, though. I want you to keep hope alive. That hair. <laughs> yeah, Hogan power. 
Uh, my head. I remembered something again. That's it. We were at Hope's Peak, and we participated in the Gopher Project. At that moment, I heard something crumbling above me. Oh shoot, move, dude! Again. As long as it doesn't land on top of him. Uh oh. Oh snap! Get the feck out! Whoa. Dude, you're lucky you're alive. Oh shoot, that actually almost hurt him this time then. Are you alright? Shuichi, what's wrong? Are you alright? What do you mean, what's wrong? You just... Dude, <laughs> you almost killed him. <laughs> Stop, Kibo. Kibo. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm... Okay, I have protagonist powers keeping me alive. No thanks to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I experienced a sudden flashback and my hand slipped. Oh, you went through that too. Interesting. Then... Oh, did you remember too, Kibo? Yeah. Yes, we were at Hope's Peak Academy, about to sign on for the Gopher Project. But... What is Monokuma thinking, having us remember that now? As I thought, he's probably trying to make us feel despair again. Despair? No, but these memories... Alright, let's talk to him since we have him here for a little bit. <laughs> Are you alright? How's your investigation going? Will you be able to end the killing game your way? Uh, um. Oh, it's going... fine. I really just started. There are a lot of areas in this academy we haven't investigated. Hmm. That explains why we have four slots in the whole bonding thing. It's because Kibo is going to be one of them. But isn't he going to be busy fighting the Exosols? Areas that you can't investigate. Hmm. Rantaro's lab is also inaccessible, thanks to Monokuma's ridiculous rule. Yes, come with me just to open the lab, and then you can go back to distracting them, please. <laughs> okay. That's right. I'm concerned about that, too. If only there was some way to get in. Um, I will help you. Huh? Help me? Logical. By destroying the door to his research lab so you can enter it. Well, that's... If you could, that would really help. Please. Then please head to his lab, and I will meet you there. But be careful. Monokuma will be after you for conducting an investigation without his permission. Uh-oh. The Exosols may not kill you outright, but they will definitely try to stop you. Oh no! Like in the okay. beginning of the game when we had to run from them? Oh shoot, I can't handle the stress. <laughs> right. Listen closely. If things get dangerous, call me, and I will deal with the Exosols. Huh? You're going to help me, Kibo? Yeah. I'm not your enemy. That is why I'm helping you with your investigation. But only until the time limit expires at dawn. Alright. Awesome! That's so cool. Only until the time limit, huh? I suppose he's still hellbent on destroying this academy. Hmm. Still, you've changed, Kibo. Is it because of this situation? Because he can't hear his inner voice? Right now, I should focus on Rantaro. My love! He died before revealing his ultimate talent. But he seemed to know more than we did. Yeah, he did. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Oh, I miss you, baby. I miss you. Before we even remembered that event, he knew about the ultimate hunt. But why? There might be a clue somewhere that will lead us to the mastermind. Alright! I'm going to do everything I can. No giving up. I won't give up on hope. I need to keep hope alive. And to do that, I need to get inside Rentaro's lab. Congratulations! You've unlocked the Kibo gun! What the hell? <laughs> 
Hold left click near an Exocell to fill up energy. When the energy is filled to the max, Kibo will come to save you. Oh, okay. Use it as you need it. Oh, shoot. I'm scared, yo. <laughs> I'm scared. I, I don't want it. No. Leave me alone, Exosols. <laughs> Kibo. Kibo, why, why'd you leave me, bro? Okay, I don't see one. Can I avoid them entirely? Or is it going to be scripted events where they just appear? I'm scared. Okay. Wait, I see him flying around fighting them. Okay, maybe they'll be inside the building. I feel sorry for interrupting, but there's info you gotta know. Oh shoot! Hold left click when near next assault to ask Kibo for help. That's it. There's no trick to it or anything. Leave it to me, everyone. Intercept. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Oh, that's going to be later. Where is Rentaro's lab again? Oh. Oh no, one. Duh. I forgot. <laughs> okay. There's going to be another one. I feel it. I want to run, but I'm also like scared. <laughs> Just having this big thing right in front of you is kind of scary. Green shake, stop it. I think there's one right nearby. I'm not sure. Oh, there's one. Leave it to me, everyone. Thank you, Gibo. <laughs> Good. All right. Oh, there you are, Monokuma figure. Ah, uh, I might have missed one. I've been keeping an eye out though. Okay. They have it designed perfectly because they know I only have one friendship bonding thing, whatever. Mataro's lab. Kiwa breaks down this door. Here we go. Oh, you're so cool, Kibo! <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Shuichi! Thank you for waiting. <laughs> that was one hell of an entrance. Listen closely. I will destroy this door at once. Please stand back, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Okay. The door still freaks me out, though. Like, what the heck, Rantaro? Uh. <laughs> All that dust. <laughs> Please. Well then, I leave the rest to you. If there is anywhere else you would like to access but can't, please call me. I will blast open an entrance just like I did for you now. Thanks, dude. Good luck, man. And just as soon as he came, Kibo left. Hmm, anywhere I'd like to access. If I can go anywhere with Kibo's help, that mean I could get in there too? In there? Um, I don't know. A love hotel? No, I'm just kidding. I'm blinking. Is there another place? I can't think of anywhere. No. Did somebody else? No. No. Rentaro's case first. I need to investigate his lab. 
Okay, so where... Where is he thinking? Oh my god! What the heck? A round table and... What is all of that? Like a wheel? A and B. Picture frames? What the heck are you, Rentaro? <laughs> what, what ultimate are you? That is weird. Very strange design. Huh. I'm finally in. So this is Rentaro's lab. But what kind of room is this? It's almost frightening. Yeah, like his door was. Hmm. What was his talent? I thought I'd understand once I came here. What the frick? I don't know. I don't get it at all. It's Himiko's turn. <laughs> oh, Himiko. Hey, Suichi. Was that explosion the sound of you breaking down this lab's door? That's pretty drastic. No. Oh, that wasn't me. It was Kibo. Mm -hmm. But... What even is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. Considering how sweet and laid back Rentaro is, this doesn't suit him? But maybe it's because he didn't have his memory, so his real personality didn't match? Okay. It looks like some kind of puzzle room. Puzzle room? But with the blood and all of that? I don't know. Then. So, maybe he was the ultimate quiz king, and he got that title by winning game shows. Hmm, I'm not sure. We should investigate first. That's fine. Then I shall help you. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh is so cute. Be happy. The legendary mage is your sidekick. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, that makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> see, like, I feel like I see... Blood and roses? What? What are you? Like, something... a medieval knight? I... I don't know. Like, see swords? What the heck? Okay. Uh... Giant vault. It's just the vault and this laptop. That's weird, dude. Rentaro Bay, what... <laughs> Oh, let me talk to Himiko first. So, Kibo was the one who broke down the door to this place. But now Kibo is a completely different person from the guy who hated looking sci-fi. No. Or, actually, I guess I should say he's a completely different robot now. Hmm? Yeah? Yeah? Maybe. I see. That Kibo isn't the real one. It's probably his spare, K2B1, a.k.a. K2B! <laughs> uh, um, no, I don't think so. He doesn't have a spare. He's the same Kibo. But it's true that he has changed quite a bit. He's actually kind of hot now. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sign, don't kill me. I don't want your, I don't want your, uh, your beloved marshmallow. Whatever. Oh, I could hit stuff. I don't know if there's any point to doing it anymore. Alright, let's look at the vault. There is a clue somewhere in the academy. Rat, pig, dog. Those are Monokumas. Tiger. Like a for Is he a fortune teller? But then what is that on the left? He never even got to use this because he died so early, but what is that? A and B. What the frick? Does this have to do with uh, Kokichi's notes? Horse A, Twins B. <gasps> Wait a second! Frickin' Kokichi! Horse. There has to be a horse in there. What the hell? This, okay, so this looks like the year's um, Chinese zodiac on the right. And then maybe uh, like astrology. Yeah, because I see a fish. And like Taurus is the bull. And the twins are Gemini. Oh, so is he a fortune teller? What's with all the blood and all that? Maybe. 
Is this a vault? That doesn't look like a normal vault. No, dude. How did Kokichi know? What the frick? I think this vault door is like a puzzle. Look at the two dials. Hmm. So horse A was the actual meaning of the message. But then Kokichi added on to it to cover it up and changed it to this world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Is that the case, maybe? The dial on the right is labeled A and it has a bunch of Chinese zodiac animals on it. Yes, Binks. Yes, I got it. I'm good. <laughs> and the one on the left is labeled B and it has a bunch of different astrological signs on it. So... It looks like if we move both of the dials to the right things, the vault will open. Um, it says something about a hint somewhere in the academy. Did Kokichi manage to come in here? How did he get in, though? Because was he the one who wrote that? Oh, Horse A wasn't written by Kokichi then. That was already there, and then Kokichi covered it up, right? Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Nah. Was there really a hint? Yes. It'll be okay. Well, we don't need to think so hard. We just gotta try every combination. How about that? So, if there's 12 Chinese zodiac animals and 12 astrological signs, then it's just 12 by 12. Uh, um, that's 144. Too many to try all the combinations at random. What was that? Then do you know the answer? Because I don't get it at all. Hey! Wait a minute. Let me think. There's an A and a B dial. Yes, yes, I know. And somewhere in this academy. I'm sure I can solve this. Heh, <laughs> I already did, bruh. <laughs> hey, Shuichi. Shuichi, I know I yelled at you just now, but talk to me when you're stuck. With my magic. That should help you have an epiphany. I am a legendary mage, after all. Uh, okay. Yeah, thank you. I'm sure you're so helpful. <laughs> There's no time. I have to try. I should inspect these dials. If I can't figure it out, I can ask Kimiko. I will in a second. I, I kind of am worried of like what will happen when I open it. Let me check the laptop first. Hmm. Laptop. Oh, Ooh, this looks promising. My magic's telling me this is important. You're right. There might be a clue in here. I should check. Looks like it still works. I should see what's on here. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter? Uh, um. It's empty. What's that mean? Empty? What do you mean? No. There's no data in it at all. Oh my! What? Well, I put a laptop here if it doesn't even have anything interesting on it. You're right. It seems like that's the case. But... No, but... My magic reacted to something. There's gotta be something. Check it better. Check it better? <sighs> anyway... What was that about magic? Hmm... Well, I guess we're gonna do this then. All right, uh, WS is for left and A and D is for right. Where's horse? By the way, I am the year of the horse. <laughs> uh, twins, oh, wrong way. Twins, open. Yes, there it is. All right. Yes, it opened. I don't know how, but it opened. But what did all of this mean? Is that all right? The hint in the academy is the message that Kokichi wrote. It was a clue for these dials. But how? If I remember correctly, the original message was written over. Remember, when Gota first saw it, it just said Horse A. Kokichi added more to it. Yeah. Mm. But that was just a diversion. Okay. Horse A was actually the complete clue. 
Oh my! Oh, I see. So the A dial should be on the horse. Hmm, so the Chinese zodiac on dial A was horse. The other hint was hidden in the rear garden. I just saw this. Do you have to explain it? Remember, <laughs> it said twins B. I see. Got it. So the B dial should be on Gemini. That's it. Yes, the astrological zodiac on dial B was Gemini. Yeah. yeah, so that's what it meant. Thanks to your deductions, everything's all cleared up. Why? But why did Kokichi add all that stuff to it? That's true. He was trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. He needed us to believe it. He was trying to be the mastermind. Mm. Yeah, causing us problems even after he's dead. He's such a pain. Um, <laughs> very true. Let's see what's in the vault. If it was this difficult to get in here, there must be something important inside. Uh, I'm getting nervous. Is it okay if I bar first? No. <laughs> Permission denied. Do you feel nauseous when you're nervous? I do sometimes. Alright. What's in it? What's in it? Something for the computer, right? I peeked into the open vault and found... Hmm. A USB stick. Ah, there we go. That Monokuma pattern must mean there's something here. But how do we check inside? Huh, I could use that thing in this lab. <laughs> that thing. Yes, the laptop. The only other thing we can interact with. Okay. It looks like it still works. If I put the USB stick in here, I should be able to check the data. I grabbed the USB from the safe and plugged it into the laptop. I found a single file. Could it be a video? Hmm. I opened the video file and... And we'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> this is the perfect time to leave the episode, actually. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I really am enjoying this chapter so far. It's very different from usual. Uh, I like it a lot. And, of course, I'm happy to learn more about Rektaru. I'm excited. Uh, Alright, so, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, make sure to ring the bell for notifications for new episodes. You can follow me on Twitch where I stream every week and also follow me on Twitter for updates. Until next time, have a nice day. Adios!